Hello YouTube. Sorry about that guys. And welcome to yet another Joe Gas video tutorial on um how to make a gelatin like button. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just show you a preview of what we're gonna be making today. Your result will come out to look something like this. A very nice button, a nice gelatin feel to it, a glow, you know, really professional. So what I'm going to do is just start from scratch. On the side, on our vectors, we're just going to go on, hold down, ellipse, rectangle, ellipse tool, or polygon tool. Now, this pretty much relies on you. You could make any button shape you want. You could make a square button. I like, um, if you were to put a button on your website, you'd want it to pretty much be like that. So, make a, um, rectangle and just change it to a solid. And the color I'm going to use, if you're going to use any color, use the dark, a dark version of the color. So here's nice red. I'm going to bring it to a dark tone. That's a nice dark red for you. Move that in the middle there. <clears throat> and there you go. We're going to select that. And under the filters, plus... Um, we're going to want to go to Sharpen and Glow, and you're just going to want to go on your Inner Glow. What this is pretty much going to do is give it a nice black outline. You could always mess around with that. I mean, I just like it to be a nice sharp glow around the edges, sort of like that. So, we got that done. Now we're going to be moving on to the next layer. What we're going to need to do is simply get another tool, another elliptical tool, and just make that about the same size, maybe that. But this time what it's going to be is a gradient. So we're going to go down to our gradient and we're going to go to linear. Now what we're going to do is make the first one white and the last one put your thing right there and then select the darkest red and we're going to want to switch that out actually I'm sorry guys you're not going to want to switch that out and but what are you going to want to do is over here, just click on that and change the opacity to zero. Okay, now we got a nice glare layer. But for now, what I'm going to do is just put that here. Also, if we wanted to round this button, I'm just going to go over down here to roundness and turn it up about there. That's a nice round. You could also round up your gradient as well. It gives it a much nicer feel to it. And then, once again, we're gonna make yet another gradient here, guys. Not a gradient. I meant to say shape, um, rectangle, whatever you want to call it. But, um, this is going to be a solid. And make this the default red that they give you here. And so what you're going to do, um, Let me find this for you guys.
Okay, you're gonna go into the filters, press plus, and under the blurs, you're gonna go to Gaussian blur. I'm not sure how you say that at all. And you just wanna mess around with it. Um, the higher it is, the more blur you get to it. Um, I'd suggest, you know, maybe a nice, um, six, if you'd ask me. That's nice. So we got three layers here, and our last layer will be text. Now I'm just going to write home, because it's your home screen. Or I'm going to make this my home button, as I should say. Okay, I'm just going to change this around a bit. If you like the font I'm going to be using, my favorite font is called, um, where is it? Cooper STD, that's a nice one. And what I'm going to do is just size that down so it pretty much fits. You know, mess it around so it gets in your button space. Um, let's test that out. That's nice. And over here... We're going to get this, so it pretty much is behind the text, so it gives it a nice glow there. And now, what we're finally going to do is add our nice little glare to it. I suggest putting it over the text. It's 5 o'clock. Okay. Now you have it, a nice glowing button for you guys. Um, you know, mess around with this if you want to. Add a um, Gaussian blow, glow. You know how nice that looks? That's just really nice, guys. Alright, you got a nice um, red jelly button. Um, what I suggest you guys do is if you wanted to, you just go to File, Save As, um, a JPEG, or whatever you're using it for. But instead of going through the trouble of making the button over again, you just select that. Say you want a purple button. Go to the purple and get a dark purple. Get here, go to the default purple. Here, change the color to that purple. And now you pretty much just made a nice purple button so yeah that's really nice guys and I hope you really found this helpful alright guys well thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe